It's you on a God, Matt Dogadoa. Hello everyone, my name is Matt and uh, we are out in the woods today. So we had a really hard and late freeze um, this uh, past spring, early spring. So plants aren't quite um, like they normally would be at this time of year. There are a ton of uh, plants out here that are significant to um, our ancestors. Um, they are native plants. It's a fun story um, that teaches us about uh, indigenous land management. Um, when we lived on the Turtle Island and um, had everything we needed there, they said that there was no disease because there was a plant for every illness. Um, and then when we were forced by probably volcanic uh, eruption, um, to come to a, a different place, we began to search for those different gifts that the Creator had given us, and uh, it is our responsibility to protect them and to help them grow. And even Western medicine, um, all medicines come from plants. They are derived from chemical components of, of these different medicinal herbs. But yeah, there's no telling what you'll find when you go out foraging or scouting, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this one is a mulberry, um, which makes a, uh, a very tasty fruit. So this one is just a tiny sapling, um, and it will probably be, you know, another five years before this one's large enough to, uh, to start making berries. But when the blackberries start turning, you'll know to, to, to look for mulberries. Um, there is, um, so the mulberry is actually a very ancient uh, plant. This is the tree that was used to make fabric um, when DeSoto came through. Um, so the, he, would, he would say it was made from mulberry bark. And actually underneath the bark is the gum um, that has fibers in it. And those were stripped off probably thrown across a tree limb, um, the rough bark removed, and then redding uh, took place. Um, we can hear water near us. Um, they were probably um, weighted um, with rocks under some moving water. Um, and so that outer uh, slough um, would come off and those fibers were all that remained. Uh, sounds very simple, but it was actually a very complex um, process to make fibers from the mulberry tree. When we talk about foraging, we all, we all usually think about, you know, hiking way off in the woods somewhere. But we are in downtown Tahlequah, right off of a busy sidewalk. And here we find some sumac and some pokeberry. The poke is, uh, is an edible plant. The, uh, the leaf, the stalk, uh, some people even eat the berries. I wouldn't recommend eating the berries, but sometimes they are used for medicine. Um, some people take them for arthritis, and one elder who does this has done this for probably 80 some years, and I ask her, uh, does it work? And she says, I don't know. I don't have any arthritis. Just a few more feet away from the pokeberry, is the elderberry. Um, the elderberry has white blossoms on it and then it will have a, um, a very dark um, fruit, uh, which is also a, uh, an edible plant. Um, I showed you sumac earlier. If you find sumac that has a white blossom, don't eat that white blossom. Sumac, um, edible sumac needs to be red. This is one of the first trees to flower. Um, this is what the leaves look like in the summertime. This is the red bud. It is a native tree. Right now it will be making seeds. Um, and you can see what those look like. This is um, the seed of the red bud. There'll be several little seeds in this pod. But the reason why this one blooms first is because after a long winter your uh, body is depleted of vitamin C and those blossoms are rich in vitamin C and antioxidants so it's a very good plant to eat or a good very very good blossom to eat. 
if we look across the waterfall, we'll see a plant that grows like this. It has its stem in the center of the leaf. This is a uh, nasturtium. It, the whole thing is edible. Leaf, flower, seed. Uh, this is a very good food plant. And it's usually growing near water. Another thing that also grows by water that may not be a native plant, but it has definitely naturalized is mint. This is great for uh, soothing a sore throat, uh, upset stomach. Um, it's refreshing in the summertime as a tea. Here in the creek, just a few feet away from the peppermint, is the watercrest, and it's also starting to uh, blossom. Uh, the little white blossoms are the flower for watercrest. It is a very peppery um, salad, if you will. And then growing with it, you'll also see that there are some nasturtiums that we um, identified earlier. On behalf of the Cherokee Art Center and the Spider Gallery, my name is Matthew Anderson, and I would like to thank you for joining me for these foraging videos. Um, I would like to remind each of you that uh, before you grab something and eat it, that you make sure you know what it is uh, you're foraging for. Gather it respectfully. Um, don't deplete natural resources. And uh, once again, I say, well, don't thank you. And uh, don't we'll see you next time.